There have been reports of UFOs appearing in the vicinity of uh, nuclear missile sites, I think maybe in North Dakota, for example, and disarming the uh, missile relaunch uh, launch mechanisms. Uh, if, if true, I don't know whether that's true, but I would think that sort of thing would be of great interest today to the military. That is true. And it has been true in several countries, and there have been meetings that are known, I mean, this is on the record, uh, between the U.S. and uh, first the Soviet Union and more recently Russia, because the, the Russians had the same experience. And nobody wants to, I mean, there may be a nuclear exchange at some point. Well, people are now talking about it about Ukraine, you know, it could happen. Uh, it would be crazy, but it could happen. And nobody wants to launch, you know, a, a, an intercontinental nuclear missile by mistake. I mean, it may be launched, but uh, there, there are, it was thought that there were guidelines to prevent missiles going off um, you know, without anybody intending to launch them. And some of those incidents got the attention of all the security people worldwide, because if somebody can take control of, of, a, of, of a nuclear launch site, then, you know, a lot of, a lot of regulations, a lot of precautions have to be redone. And uh, of course, that's beyond my level. It's beyond the level of the people now looking at UFOs in Congress and looking at it. It has to be done at an international level where we can discuss it realistically with our potential enemies. And that's a very different kind of a meeting. I'm under the impression that in the popular UFO culture, which is something of a circus, uh, there is a belief that these UFOs will save us from ourselves if it ever came to uh, nuclear war. And that's what they're demonstrating. I sort of followed that for a while and sort of, uh, it would be nice <laughs> to entertain that idea. The fact is uh, that we came very, very close to nuclear war by accident three times. And those, those three times have been reviewed in great detail. There have even been movies about it, about, you know, accidental nuclear war. And those, uh, those were real and were, those were very scary. Uh, that, that has happened to several countries, but in the U.S. it has happened three times, when, including one time when uh, uh, the, the system was at the high, you know, the DEFCON classification, when the B-52s had taken off and had to be recalled. Now, that is... Um, and there were no UFOs intervening to stop it. So uh, you, you can, it will, it's a nice idea, but I, I don't think that uh, they care that much about it. 